Hi, and welcome to the Mayor's Report. I'm Northampton Mayor David Narkowitz, and this is my monthly program on Northampton Community Television, where we talk about the issues and projects that are happening in the city. Today I wanted to talk to you about a new initiative that we started uh, at the beginning of this year. Uh, it's actually something that I mentioned in my inaugural address, and that is the Senior and Veteran Tax Workoff Program. This is a program that Northampton is allowed to take advantage of under a state law, uh, and it's a program that allows seniors and veterans to be able to volunteer their time to the city in exchange for earning credit towards their property tax. Today we're joined by Northampton Senior Center Director, Patricia Shaughnessy, who's been my point person on this program. Welcome to the Marriage Report, Patricia. Glad to be here, thank you very much. Um, so, uh, this is a program that I know when we spoke about it um, is, is been working in other communities around us for several years, but I know it's one that you've heard from Northampton seniors that, that they really wanted something like this here in Northampton. Right. It was um, a wonderful opportunity to happen in Northampton. Um, once you made the um, wonderful decision to have this program for veterans and seniors in Northampton, um, I did some research and there are over 145 communities in Massachusetts who have this program. So now we can be added to that list because Northampton is going to be benefiting from this program. Excellent. Well, let's, um, and, and as we're filming this, we're actually in the month of October and we're just about, mm -hmm. we're in the middle of accepting applications for the newest round of the program. So why don't we, why don't you talk through exactly kind of the timeline and sort of the mechanics of how the program work, works. And I should say, just to start, um, uh, you know, we have about 30 slots allotted, 20 for seniors, 10 for veterans. Um, and uh, obviously veterans, just by being a veteran, are eligible for the program. It's a, we, it's a little bit different definition for seniors. So why don't you just talk about if a senior wanted to apply for mm -hmm. this program, what's the criteria and what's the process? Right. Um, the criteria for a senior to apply, they must be 60 or older. Um, they have to live in the property that they would be um, asking for a tax credit for. The um, income eligibility, which is um, you know an important thing that um, seniors need to realize, is that it is income based. And for a single uh, senior, it would be thirty thousand um, dollars as um, their income level. And then for um, a couple, it would be thirty four thousand four hundred. Okay. So that's you know one of the major criteria. So when a senior is interested in applying, they would be um, filing a copy of their 2013 tax return. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't file taxes, um, meaning the federal um, tax, that they would um, have other documents that are financial that they would have to submit. And, and that would all be taken into consideration to see if they qualify to be in the program. And just for seniors who may be concerned, I know that uh, we're, you're working with the assessor's mm -hmm. office. Um, and our assessors um, frequently deal with this kind of confidential information and obviously all of the information as part of the application process remains confidential. We just have to be able to verify it um, out of fairness to all the other seniors who may want to participate in the mm -hmm. program. Right. Um, I, I think it should be really noted and it is on the forms that the information is confidential. It's not shared with other people. Mm -hmm. um, basically it would be the assessor's office and um, myself that would be looking at those documents. And um, those documents are filed away in a locked um, file cabinet. I think people should be reassured um, that their information is not being um, put out there to the public. Mm -hmm. What other kinds of information do, uh, do we ask our applicants uh, who apply for the program? Um, on the application, um, for those who are interested, um, and other than the financial, which if you want, I can get into that more de in detail, what else is on that. Um, but <clears throat> the application um, asks what some of their interests are. Um, are there any um, hindrances to what they might be able mm -hmm. to do um, um, that may be too challenging. Do they want to work inside, outside? Mm -hmm. um, and again, it, it's looking at the skills because those skills would be matched against 
the um, requests with um, different departments mm -hmm. with what they're looking for. And what are the <coughs> um, what are the various uh, departments that uh, that are participating in the programs? And maybe just I know we've had some people already in the program. What are the kinds of uh, kinds of jobs mm -hmm. that we have uh, seniors working in right now? We had a wonderful response from departments and the school department as well mm -hmm. um, for uh, positions open for seniors and um, veterans. Um, in central services, there's um, custodial and uh, painting. So this uh, summer, there was a veteran who did um, a lot of painting in the school, hmm. um, Ryan Road School, I believe, and um, Board of Health, someone doing um, the archival work. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Again, something that regular staff doesn't have time yeah. to do. And that was an example of where the Board of Health had a bunch of paper records that they wanted to computerize mm -hmm. and they really just needed somebody who could scan those records mm -hmm. into the computer for them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the seniors um, who have applied, and I can speak more to the seniors because mm -hmm. Steve Connor, our veterans agent, handles the um, veterans, um, that there are some really wonderful skills that mm -hmm. these seniors have that are applying. Um, we also have somebody at the uh, aquatic um, program at JFK okay, um, with the, the recreation the department. Yeah. Um, at the senior center we have two um, serving as receptionists and somebody who's a greeter also works in the gift shop and has a multitude of other jobs mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. kind of multitask. Um, there are um, volunteers at Jackson Street School, one directly in the classroom, um, one in the library. Um, there are at the high school, somebody in the uh, main office. Mm -hmm. um, we're placing someone um, at JFK to do gardening. Okay. Um, so th there's some very interesting jobs, some yeah. fun jobs. And I think uh, that's, the, I think that's the, the, the great thing about this program. I mean, obviously it provides an opportunity for seniors to be able to realize savings on their taxes, but mm -hmm. it also really gives the city some great skills and, and mm -hmm. some help with some important projects. Right. Um, so the, you're right, the um, projects that departments are having people um, in this program work on are, are vital and very important. It's not just like trying to use up time mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. there's a real benefit to the senior and veteran. There's a benefit to the uh, department and there's a benefit to the community because it, the gover our government keeps functioning um, using people within the community. Definitely and talk about the hours piece of it um, because this is a job and and you keep track of the hours but mm -hmm. obviously they're not paid for it. it, it talk right. about how many hours maximum and and how that works in terms of uh, an abatement on their property mm -hmm. taxes. So with the next phase of the um, veteran and senior tax work off. Um, it will be January 1st, 2015 through November 30th, 2015. Okay. Um, a senior or veteran needs to work 111 hours to get $1,000 abatement on their property tax, which is a property tax abatement for 2016. Mm -hmm. So it's always the year coming um, okay. following. Um, and so we hope that seniors or veterans work the 111 hours, but that may not always be the case. Mm -hmm. There could be an illness, there could be some other circumstance in their life that now they could only do 86 hours, so it would be prorated and they would be um, given credit towards the hours that they did in fact work. And that hourly ca calculation is actually sort of based on the state law. The state law requires us to base that on the minimum wage at the time, correct? That's that's right. Yeah. Um, and at January 1st, the minimum wage goes up to $9. Okay. So um, that's that's how it's figured out. Um, okay. And this past, what we're currently in for the abatement program, it was 125 hours that a veteran or senior needed to work. Mm -hmm. um, but that was at $8 because that's what the minimum wage is correct, uh, currently. How many, um, what are the totals now of the folks that are, that are sort of participating in the program mm -hmm. through the end of 2014? How many people do we have, seniors and veterans? Um, we have 12 seniors and one veteran. Okay. Um, so as of November 30th, all hours need to be um, completed. Mm -hmm. um, and then what happens is the supervisor 
um, would be sending me the hours that the uh, senior has worked and then that goes to the assessor who will certify that they it d did in fact earn the credit mm -hmm. and what those hours were. And um, as I mentioned at the outset, uh, we just began accepting new applications mm -hmm. for the up coming year, calendar year uh, 2015, um, how do people go about applying? I know we have the applications are available on the website. You can go to the website. Mm -hmm. Actually on our homepage right now we have sort of a spotlight feature on the senior and veteran work off. So if they click on that, mm -hmm. they can get to the application. But where else can they get applications? Applications can be picked up at the assessor's office, mm -hmm. um, which is in City Hall building, um, at the veterans agent office, which is over in the um, Memorial right. Hall, yeah. and also at the senior center on okay. Conn Street. Okay. So those three locations, and as you said, on, online as well. Okay, and the deadline is October 31st, uh, the end of the month, mm -hmm. October 31st, right. and that then allows uh, you time and, and Steve Connor time to, to work on the whole issue of reviewing the applications. Mm -hmm. You have interviews with people mm -hmm. and then having to place them in the different departments. Right. Um, so the applications come in. Um, I, for seniors, would review those. The financial piece of it goes to the assessor and it's either they're eligible or not eligible. And when I say that, it's based on the financial part of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then once they're eligible, I would give them a phone call. Um, we'd set up an interview to try to match them up with a position within the city or school department. And then they would begin work as of January 1st. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, um, people who were participating in the program this year, are they eligible to reapply again to continue in the program? Mm -hmm. Yep, they, um, anybody who is working currently in the program can reapply. Um, so they would have to fill out another application mm -hmm. and get that in. Um, their interests and skills may have varied, so they need to get that in and reapply. Um, with, <clears throat> excuse me, 20 slots, um, if for instance we get 30 people apply, then there would be a lottery system. Okay. Um, and I, you know, know that there are a number of people who have been calling who, um, you know, came in contact with me uh, weeks ago to mm -hmm. make sure that they were going to be um, knowing that this was happening again. Great. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I know even after, even after sort of I announced the program back in January before we even had a chance to kind of get it set up, we were getting calls and mm -hmm. inquiries here. I think there's... Obviously, as I said at the time in my inaugural address, one of the concerns um, that we all must have is, is making sure that we can keep Northampton affordable for seniors and, and for veterans. And so this is a great uh, way to allow uh, seniors and veterans to, to be able to you know, realize some savings on their property tax and in a way that gives back to the community as well. Yeah, that's absolutely um, correct. Um, so many of the seniors who have talked to me during the interview were calling um, after they've started their position, you know, are very thrilled. But I think the bottom line is that they have this opportunity to assist them with their uh, property tax. And, you know, at the senior center, what we keep saying is we want people to age in place. We want mm -hmm. them to be able to stay in their homes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this is just a wonderful way that helps um, seniors and veterans. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for, for all the work that you've put into this and helping uh, take what was sort of an idea in and, and a, and a speech, but actually making, creating a program for Northampton and, and administering it. And uh, I know that. Uh, I think it can only grow in future years, and I know we've talked about uh, if, in fact, there is a great enough demand, we may we may have to expand it to allow more people, because um, I think it's a worthwhile program. Yeah, absolutely worthwhile to the senior, the veteran, to mm -hmm. the city. Definitely. So thank you for um, initiating it. Yeah, and thank you uh, for coming on the Mayor's Report uh, this month. And uh, as always, thanks to all of you for tuning in to the Mayor's Report. We'll put some information up after the program about where you can go to get more information about the Senior and Veteran uh, Tax Work Off program. Um, and as always, if you have uh, questions for me uh, or ideas about future episodes, you can uh, email me at mayor at northamptonma.gov or give my office a call at uh, 587 1249. Thanks again for watching the Mayor's Report.